Hey guys, and welcome back to another Discord rewrite tutorial. So in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to change member nicknames, how to embed messages so they look like nicer, uh, how to check and check for like swear words or stuff like that and delete those messages. Um, and I think that's about it for this tutorial. Now I do apologize as I wanted to show you guys how to do um, voice chat stuff and I was messing with it and I can get in the voice chat and I can leave the voice chat. Um, that's all fine. But whenever I try to actually play any audio in that chat, I'm getting a lot of issues and I messed around with it for about two hours this morning and it seems that I need to install some kind of library that I can't figure out. Uh, so until I get that, unfortunately, I can't show you guys any of the voice chat stuff. But if any of you know how to do that voice chat stuff, please don't hesitate to uh, let me know on Discord or whatever on my forum uh, on techwithtim.net because I'd be happy to have a look at that and try to do a tutorial on that. But for right now, this will probably be the last video in the series until maybe I decide to continue it on later on. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is tell you how to change someone's nickname because that's probably a pretty useful thing and it's actually not as intuitive as it seems from reading the documentation so to do this what we're going to do um or like what i'm going to do is if someone tries to change their nickname to tim i am just going to change it back to what it used to be or if they didn't have a nickname before i'm going to like make their nickname like you can't do that or something okay so to do this we need to do another event so i'm going to do at uh, client dot event and then down here, I believe it is uh, async, define, and then on underscore member underscore update. I think that's it. And then it takes two parameters, which is um, before, if I spelled that correctly, and after, like that. So we have before and after. And what these are going to represent is the member. So it gives you a member object. I'm not sure if you've been reading the documentation, but if you have, you'll know what that means. Um, before and then afterwards and the afterwards will obviously have all of the changed properties so for example like a new nickname uh, a new role uh, etc so let me actually bring this up to show you okay that's something else I was looking at um, but yeah on member updates so it takes before and after and these are the things that will trigger this function to run so if they change their status the game they're playing uh, an avatar a nickname or the role so we're just gonna deal with nickname but if you wanted to see like if they were changing what game they're playing or status, this will trigger for that as well, just so you know. So actually, I don't know why the bot's running right now, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the nickname that they tried to change to, right? Or that they did change to. So I'll say, um, we'll just say after. Uh, actually, I don't know if I could use Nick. We'll say n is equal to after dot Nick. Okay, now this is going to stand for the uh, nickname they attempted to change to. Now, if they didn't change their nickname, this after uh, is going to be set to none or it's going to be set to the nickname they already were. So what we'll do here is we'll say if n and we'll just do that, which means if it's anything and it's not none, because if it's none, this this won't trigger and we won't go into this if statement, meaning we're not going to change the nickname um, to what it was before if that makes sense. So essentially this could be a none value because it's going to trigger for five different things. So if they don't change their nickname, this will be none. Okay. Makes sense. So if N, so now what we'll do is we'll say if um, N dot lower, so lowercase equals equals Tim, um, then we will uh, change this and we can even go as far as to say if it contains Tim. So M dot lower dot uh, count. And then here we'll put Tim is uh, greater than zero. So if they try to put Tim anywhere in their nickname, we'll just change their nickname back to what it was before. So in here now we got to check if they had a nickname before. So we'll say um, last as in like the last nickname equals before dot Nick. Okay. And then if last, we'll simply say that they're, uh, we're going to edit their nickname. So it is their last nickname. And otherwise we'll just change their nickname to like a set value. Okay. So if last, so if they did have a nickname, let's change it back. So the way we do that is we're going to say after dot edit. Um, I think it's dot edit. Let me look here. Dot edit. Yep. And then we're going to do Nick equals and then what their last nickname was, which would be last. Okay. Now, if um, they didn't have a nickname before, this wouldn't work, obviously, right? Or it would make their nickname none, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do now is let's say they didn't have one before and they tried to change it to that. Well, too bad for them. I'm going to change their nickname to no, you can't do that. So to do that, we'll just go Nick equals uh, no, stop that like that. Okay. Exclamation point. I, I think that is allowed in a nickname. Well, uh, maybe let's remove it in case. Okay. Anyways, so we'll do that. And that's now going to work to change uh, nicknames. Now, the thing is with this bot and I'll run it quickly and I'm actually, I'll show you on my phone because I'm going to test it. Um, 
it has to so i already was messing with stuff here it has to have a higher permission than the person you're trying to change nickname so right now i actually went ahead and added a bot permission to this and i just gave it the administ uh, administrator but if i try to change like the system owner or the server owner which would be me my own nickname it won't work it'll say there's a permission error because the bot doesn't have as high of a permission as tim does so we can't change that so what i have to do actually is go to server settings go to uh what is it roles and i just created a new bot a uh, new role called bot so you can just literally click plus new role give it a name and just make it administrator okay and then just assign that role to your bot to do that you go here you go plus and then you just give it that role and then that way now it'll be able to change like at everyone so like any person lower than the server owner's nickname i think that makes sense to you guys so let's actually i was going to test that wasn't it so i have a new another discord account on my phone and i'm just going to type something i'm going to try to change my nickname so actually i'll type something first i'm on my phone right now so you guys can see so hi and you can see my nickname right now is yes so now i'll just change my nickname in here by just going uh change nickname and i'll try to change it to like tim one two three okay so i tried to do that um and that worked really what's our issue here edit uh nick equals last member dot edit was never awaited ah okay so that's what we had to do i forgot about that so we actually just have to go in this code here and go await um because this is something that like could take a second right so we'll say await like that and now if we close the bot and try it again hopefully this will uh this will fix this for us so we'll go to discord here and now we'll just try to change the nickname one more time so you can see right now my name is tim123 and uh we, we might run into an issue here but we'll see so change nickname to tim1234 i click save and now uh it went back okay so the reason running into an issue is because my nickname okay I'll, sh I'll show you guys in a second it already contains tim so it has like an issue but let's just make it t so now you can see it's T on my screen. I don't know why I just pointed as if you guys were going to see that, but uh, now we'll change it back. So change nickname and we'll make it Tim. Okay, ready? So if I click it, it goes Tim and then it goes right back to T. So it doesn't let me change that nickname. Now, if I didn't have a nickname, so I think I can remove it, um, it'll just get rid of it. So that's there's my name, okay? And now if I try to change it, so change nickname to um, like Tim and save it, now it just says no stop that because I didn't have a nickname before so it just renames it to no stop that okay makes sense I think so all right okay so what are we doing now so we've got the nickname thing down you guys can play with this this probably isn't the best way to do this especially if you already had a name that contains Tim in it um, then like it would give you some issues but anyways what we'll do now is we'll work with deleting messages so let's say there's a few messages or a few things that if they appear in a message we want to delete them so for example I was just gonna say um bad underscore words equals two and i'll put a list of words here and um some bad words let's just make one bad okay bad and like stop um obviously you can make these swear words if you want but i'm just not going to type them out bad stop let's say 45 is a bad word too okay so if we want to um, have it so it automatically like moderates these words and doesn't let them show up in a message strain, we'll just delete the message if they ever appear in any of the messages. So the way to do that is we'll just make a for loop and we'll loop through all these words and check if the message that was sent contains these words. So we'll say for word in bad underscore words like this. Um, if, what do you call it? We'll say message dot content, or actually we're going to do if word is in message.content i think that will actually work uh, maybe we're gonna have to do this message.content.count word i think the other one would work as well but i want to be safe so we'll do this message.count.word is greater than zero which means that one of these words appeared in our messages then what we will do is we'll just print to the console and we'll say like uh, a bad word was said just so we know and then we're gonna actually gonna delete that message so the way we do that is say message dot channel um dot purge i think let me have a look that might not be actually what it is no it is that uh dot purge and then we're gonna put limit equals and in this case i'm just gonna put one now if you wanted to delete like a ton of messages you could put i think the max is 125 that you can do for deleting um but you guys can play with that this is how many messages up we're gonna delete so in this case since i just sent one message we're just gonna delete that one um and that should work fine let's test this out so i stop run go back to discord now i can actually use this account and what were some of those ones that were bad 45 oh and oh our bots is is it online what are we getting channel the limit purge runtime ah we need to await this again my bad await that stop 
run. Okay, maybe let's see if it works this time. Uh, let's go 45. And there we go, it just instantly deletes that word. And this is a bad word was said. If I type bad hello, like in the same sentence, again, it removes that word. Um, so obviously you'd probably wanna do that with like swear words or maybe just some words you don't want people to say. Uh, but that shows you how you can do that pretty easily. Okay, last thing that I was gonna show you. What was that? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, I was gonna show you, oh, how we can embed messages. Yes, okay, so actually I have an example here. You see how I have like this message that looks like pretty decent compared to um, just like having the bot send like a standard message. Well, I'll show you how we can do this and this is known as embedding. Uh, so we, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty useful and it makes it look like decent. You guys can see here. So the way we'll do that essentially is I want, if someone types, uh, help or like exclamation point help, I want to show them that nice output with all the different commands, like easy to see with a little description. So what we can do that is we'll just say if message dot content, uh, spelled that correctly equals equals and then exclamation point help like that. What we'll do is we'll uh, start that embedding uh, process. So I'm going to say embed is actually equal to discord dot embed uh, like this. Now inside these brackets, this takes a title, which I'm going to say is equal to uh, a help like that. Okay. So like help on bot, we'll do that. And it takes a description as well. Now the description, I'll just say um, some useful commands. Why not? Okay. So to show you what these ones are, uh, that would be this is the uh, title and this is the description. And these are what is going to be known as I'm going to have to look at it. Hey, what is it called here? Field, a field. Okay. Field. So these are fields and we can add as many of these as we want. And you'll see if I go full screen here, uh, they show up like dynamically. So they're beside each other and it's just like a nice looking kind of output. So the way we do the fields is we just say embed dot add underscore field. And then for the field, it takes a name and a value so say name equals. And for this one, we'll do the first command, which we'll just say is what? Hello. And then for the value, we'll set that equal to uh, greets the user. Okay. Now if we have another one, so embed dot add underscore field, that would be our other command, right? So we should do like exclamation point users, uh, probably need an equal sign there as well. And then for value, we'll just say uh, exactly what it's going to do. So a little description. So prints a uh, number of users like that. Okay. So now I think to show this, yeah, to show this, what we need to do is we need to await a uh, message dot channel dot send. Now we're not just going to send embed. Like you might think what we actually have to do is embed equals embed now that's <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing because we named our variable embed but essentially this is just dictating what is going to be embedded in the message now we also have to add this other one which is going to be content and this has to be equal to none because by default we're going to be sending content um so if we don't say anything it's going to send like a blank message which i don't think you can do um so anyways just add this content equals none and then embed equals embed and if we stop and rerun our bot go to our discord server uh, and we type exclamation point help. Let's see. There we go. So there we go. So help on bot says some useful commands, greets the user, prints numbers of users. Let's try hello here. Hi, there we go. So that is essentially all I'm going to show you guys for uh, the discord bot. There is tons, 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 tons of things you can do. Um, go look through the documentation. I will be honest. It's not great. And there's not that many examples on how to do stuff. So it's kind of difficult to figure out, but if you use, you guys do find out how to join those voice channels and play music, please let me know. Um, I'll like shout you guys out or whatever. Cause I really want to know how to do that. And I was having a lot of difficulties with it. So I appreciate that. And other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I may continue the series in the future, um, but no promises on that.